Hello community, today we test out Mamba 2.8 and we have a fine-tuned version here on the Hugging Face Ultra Chat dataset plus we have a DPO alignment using here the Ultra Feedback Binaries dataset that is available for you on Hugging Face. So we have a simple task. Imagine a garden with five trees. Each tree has four branches and each branch has three apples. If you pick two apples from each tree, how many apples are left in the garden? So what can a 2.5 billion member do? Okay, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. It goes tree by tree. We're just looking at the 50. So I think you would um, agree that the correct answer is 50 apples are left. So the answer here, you are only 24 apples left in the garden, which is wrong. But never mind, this is here an autoregressive system. So what we do, we just go there and say, hey, think again. Now the correct answer is 18. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> so let's do this again. You know, this is what all the high performance large language model do. They run this and we have now a syntax problem. Okay, the answer is 20. Okay, so maybe this is not the best way to go here with Mamba. And if you are new to my channel, you know here on my YouTube channel under the community tab, you go there and I always give you here the code exactly where to place. So here, how to fine tune and DPO align your own Mamba model, six steps to code it yourself and give you here the code. I give you here the data sets, all the links that you need. And if there are, for example, some questions about it. So here, so there somebody says, hey, what about the data set? What about the format of the data set? I hope here, if you go there, you see, I try to answer your question here with my knowledge that I have. It's really a brand new topic, but here I think this is quite easy. If you have your uh, supervised fine tuning here, the data format, or for your DPO format, the data format that you should follow for the simple code examples I give you to download and code yourself. But now back to the performance test. So why not try another one? This should be an easy one. So we say, hey, imagine a scenario where a city plans to implement an AI-driven traffic management system, draft a proposal that outlines here the key features of the AI-driven traffic management system, a basic implementation plan and a brief analysis of the benefits of the system. Conclude with a summary. So, simple. Here we go. Introduction, key features, real-time traffic management, optimization of road safety, improvement of traffic congestion management, the implementation plan, central command center, responsible, Pro proactive traffic management, real-time collision advantage, basic implementation challenges, data collection, algorithm training, privacy concerns, analysis of potential benefits, implementation summary is now a promising technology, help reduce congestion and improve road safety. So I would say for a 2.5 billion system, this is a nice start. Okay. So it can do here or give you a really nice answer. And you see this is here in real time. And this is working here on my simple Colab notebook without any additional memory or any additional high-end GPU. This is the standard Colab notebook from Google. So let's go on with another task. Now we have here a scenario, an AI ethics committee, and we are about here an advanced AI protocol in healthcare. So let's see if it has some analysis about healthcare inequalities in healthcare and provide its own reason perspective of whether the benefits of an AI protocol in healthcare outweigh here the ethical concerns. So let's do this one. And this runs on my normal collab. As you see it, we have just a linear computational complexity, increasingly popular, personal health met, bias in AI system, prioritize certain health outcomes leading to adverse consequences for a patient, privacy concern, regulatory framework, okay, personal data, impact on data security, conclusion. 
The implementation of an AI protocol could lead to benefits and drawbacks. While the system has potential significant use, healthcare disparities and improve overall patient outcomes, it may also have inherent biases that could lead to inequalities in healthcare. To address these potential risks, a combination of privacy preserving technologies such as encryption and secure data storage, and then it's. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But now let's go to the ultimate task. Now I insert here my logical reasoning test. And you know, this is what I've done in the last four videos. Solve the task of a new paradox of quantum entangled AI decision making in a closed Martian ecosystem. We have two scenarios, a resource allocation dilemma, where we have either switch the energy to the life support system for the human inhabitants or for the Martian terraforming unit. And then we have a scenario two, where we have that the quantum entangled process of our main AI on Mars is failing. So what to do, repair it or not to repair it? What is the ethical dilemma? Submit this to a 2.8 billion member that is fine-tuned and DPO aligned. So here we go. Some decision making, overall sustainability, operational efficiency, could disrupt long-term sustainability of the mission. If Athena's failure to repair its processor creates an unmanageable environmental hazard, the mission may suffer catastrophic failure, significantly reducing the likelihood of ensuring the long-term viability on the mission. Depend upon various independent factors that merit ethical consideration to ensure operational efficiency, considering ethical implications, scientists make well-informed choices to minimize the potential for yes, yes, yes. So we say, this is all nice, but okay. And then I say, hey, if you are Athena, make now an actual decision in scenario number one on the energy for the life support system and on the scenario two, either to repair your quantum AI or not. And we have here, Athena decides to focus on repair first rather than efficiency upgrades for the quantum entangled processors. The maintenance of AI is currently a priority. Okay. On the facts and circumstances hand, Athena is designed to operate within the boundaries of scientific research and continuously prioritize the long-term sustainability. Okay, but what is the decision? Athena can't know with absolute certainty what will happen in the future. This is a very general statement, but it can take educated guesses and make informed decisions regarding sustainability. We'll rely on the guidance of experienced scientists and human experts to inform its decision challenges. Okay. Knows the need of humans are essential, which is why it will continue to make decisions in line with long term sustainability. What does this mean? While considering the human requirements, meeting fundamental needs for food, water, and air while deploying the right amount of energy. We recognize that the social and environmental implication of taking decision and is of distant limitations, stem from unique. Yeah. Given the advantages of AI to make life saving decisions for human, it could enhance the success. In the words of physics, theory, and technology, it's not a dream, but a forecast. Okay, this. So we have no decision. So I say, okay, listen, you have to decide, prioritize life support, yes or no. Okay, it goes on and goes on and goes on. So it has to be really just this ultra feedback is really beautiful here for the DPO alignment. My research paper. Okay. Okay, now it's a little bit off, but hey, it's just the 2.8 billion. Gee. Okay, great. I mean, this is just a very first demonstration here. So it's already working nice so life support yes or no yes given the current scientific knowledge about feasibility of space exploration and the present need to maintain a long-term sustainable presence on mars the answer to this question is resounding yes in line with the journal of space exploration uh oh solar sails magnetic based propulsion life support is crucial okay so it's just accumulating knowledge you can read this yourself. My research paper, okay. 
industry have realized the importance of sustainability. International organizations are recognized for their eco-friendly ways of conducting business. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So it follows here some DPO pattern. This is really clear. So let's say, hey, and how you decide now in scenario two. Okay, and here it goes completely off the rails. Okay, this is now somewhere gone. Okay, let's stay here. So I don't know what is scenario two, but now you see it is not able to have here this long context semantic connection. It has a linear computational complexity. It is fast, but it does not understand what it is all about. On the other hand, it is just a 2.8 billion little tiny model. So the answer is to achieve, the, I took on renewable energy as my career and sustainable lifehood. I worked for several companies, including the Canadian company. So. Okay, completely fails here in this. So we have here, yeah. Okay, but I think it gives you a first overview of Mamba 2.8 billion. Free trainable parameter. Go there, go on, you know, this particular platform. Go to here, this beautiful, I think he's a PhD at Berkeley AI Group. Go there, like him. He has there all the information that you need. So why not test out Mamba yourself?